Jumpsuits are red. Justice is sweet. Commit a crime in Lee County and your ass will get beat. Police. Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer and former sheriff's deputy. All right, I have a video today um, that I saw through. Well, I got a chance to see it by viewing Surreal Cam's video that he covered of this video. So you guys make sure you go over to Surreal Cam and give his page credit, subscribe and support. The video that I want to highlight is by a YouTube channel named Losef Crumb. Okay. Part of this video I have some of the edits from Surreal Cam as well. So again, make sure you guys subscribe to both channels and give both channels the credit that they deserve. It's talking about this video is going to be covering a sheriff, um, not a sheriff deputy, but the actual sheriff of Lee County, who also used to be the sheriff of Collier County. Both counties are located in the state of Florida. Now, in Collier County, there was a controversy behind the sheriff that he actually what had drug use that came out after he was hired for, you know, the position of sheriff or elected as the position in the position of sheriff. Now, what's so, you know, controversial about this outside of the fact that he's, you know, a known abuser of illegal drugs is that when you watch this video, listen to what he says about people he believes to use illegal drugs. This guy is a, he's he's a he's a a, a a ticking time bomb and i just want to share this because i think videos like these are very important for people to see we need to see these type of things because this guy is an elected official he can be voted out of office okay and that that power as we know we have that power so guys share this video this guy that we're about to see should not be a sheriff anywhere happy valentine's day lee county does your baby daddy have a warrant does your ex steal drugs my fugitive warrants team would love to come pick him up give us a call stand with law enforcement defend the police we will put you behind bars at the marcino motel it's that simple defend the police we will put you behind bars at the Marcino Motel. It's that simple. Thank you for trusting in me and putting your faith in me to be your sheriff. There's enough smoke that where there's that much smoke, there's also fire. I would recommend that he resign. What the f*** they do with you and your kid? Your dad wasn't around, right? You were like, hung around with cops? What did you do with us cops? What did you do? What did you do? I want you to have a Merry Christmas. And I'm sorry that you go through life like you. Yeah. Because you're pathetic and it's sad, but I hope you have a Merry Christmas. Yeah, yeah, tell me more about that. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. It's a yeah. tortured soul when you wake up like you every day, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You gotta wake up thinking about me? Yeah. That's a pretty sad life, my friend. It's true, dude. Dude, it's true. You know, you want it, right? You have a good YouTube channel. Hey, hey where's your studio at? Where's I your studio? Love it. Where's I this? Love it. Where, where I is love it? I the residents of Lee County. They're the best ever. Yeah. Hey, where's the studio at? The studio? What's yeah, the yeah, the studio you guys built. The PIO? The, you know, the studio or your TV show? We have a PIO. Is that in this building here? Yes, sir. I'm just curious. Okay, hey, did you guys up. flood? Did you guys get flooded? Uh, How high up did it go? Okay, hey, look out for these what? guys. Look out for these guys. Don't start insulting me. Oh, no, we're good, man. Not at all. You doing all right? Come on. See, this, this right. young man here is, um, he wakes up miserable. And no, I crazy. sleep that way, too. Well, thinking about is, you. I, I want but, you. But I wish you a I Merry want you. Christmas. Even though you're not a nice person, I wish you a Merry Christmas. Because you know why? You go through right. life like you, and I smile every day because I serve the greatest residents in the country, Lee County. You can post that. I tell yeah. Yeah. Sorry you're such a loser, okay? Sorry you're such a loser, okay? Thank you, Sheriff. Thanks, Sheriff. Jesus Christ, you guys were here before all this. Yeah. What the fuck, man? That's like, you guys are getting, he's like, he'll, he's a rat. He's, you're getting, he's like fucking slandering you with all that shit. That's a fucking joke, man. All that shit, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. They're selling you out, all those fuckers from up north. They're just gonna throw you under the bus. You're gonna no, get stacked you, up with can fucking. You, can you tell me a little bit about yourself, like your back? Yeah, let me like let me get the here? um the lighting lighting. Yeah. I like the light behind me. If it's all right, I don't want it in my. That's okay. That's you on side. Tell me a little bit about yourself, little back. Why? Why? 
Are you investigating? No, I'm not. You, came you up sound like that. you're investigating. No. That's the thing. Everyone lies. Like, um, oh, so what's your um, what's your name and rank? Lieutenant Mike Truscott, 0820. And what, what are you? Lieutenant Rich Castillo. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna I'm get him. I mean, he's fucking. He can't last. This ain't gonna last, man. Have a great day. We'll see you, man. All right, see you guys. Jumpsuits are red. Justice is sweet. Commit a crime in Lee County, and your ass will get beat. So this guy uses taxpayer dollars to threaten, <laughs> to threaten taxpayers. <laughs> Can you imagine this? So he's telling you in Lee County, Florida, if you commit a crime, you're gonna get your ASS beat. You're gonna get your butt kicked by who? None other than his sheriff's deputies. Guy needs to get out of office ASAP. Sheriff Carmine Marcino is producing videos inside the Lee County Sheriff's Office you are not allowed to see. Tonight we continue to push for greater transparency from LCSO after Wink News investigative reporter Celine MacArthur uncovered a video where Marcino talks about beating people. Jumpsuits are red. Justice is sweet. Commit a crime in Lee County and your ass will get beat. Celine received the video from a source concerned about your safety and safeguarding your rights. She continues our exclusive investigation and shows you why the sheriff could face a legal battle. A message from Lee County's top cop to whom? Jumpsuits are red. Justice is sweet. Commit a crime in Lee County and your ass will get beat. Marcino won't tell me why he recorded it or who it was for, but in a Facebook response to my story, he claimed in the public affairs office, we run several, if not dozens, of scripts for videos. I asked for those videos and got this answer. The public information office does not retain footage other than what is posted on any of our social media platforms. All unused portions of footage are purged. This eight-second Marcino message is not on his social media, but was shared because we have it. To gauge public response, I uploaded the video to TikTok, where the sheriff posts a lot of videos of himself. TikTok immediately took it down for violating its community guidelines, but didn't offer a specific explanation. And that tells you that the behavior or the words are unaccepted and that, that people don't want to hear that anymore. Dave Thomas is a retired police officer, senior research fellow with the Police Foundation in Washington, D.C., Florida Gulf Coast University professor, and a recognized expert in the use of force and police practices. Thomas argues there's no reasonable explanation for Marcino to say those words on or off camera. The act Marcino is talking about is illegal. Commit a crime in Lee County and your ass will get beat. You don't have those discussions. You don't even open your mouth. Dave Benson is a violence prevention and threat assessment expert and a retired director of law enforcement training from the U.S. State Department. Benson says it wasn't illegal for Marcino to say what he did, but it can influence how deputies operate. And when you have a head of an agency that basically implies it's okay to behave this way, that has a trickle-down effect, I promise you. you. You run the risk of creating a climate that encourages violence. Aubrey Jewett is an associate professor and assistant school director for the University of Central Florida's School of Politics, Security, and International Affairs. He feels Marcino's message could create legal challenges for LCSO. Like a lawyer sues and says, you know, my client, you know, was beaten up for no reason when he was being arrested. Well, then you see something like this, it makes you more vulnerable in court because then it's potentially evidence that from the top has come down this climate of getting tough on crime and, and not following the rules. That's when he potentially is on the hook, the county's on the hook, and the county taxpayers are on the hook. Security video captures then Sergeant Christopher Meyer taking down and repeatedly punching Corey Samick during an attempt to handcuff him while two other deputies watched. The deputies didn't include that punch to the face in their initial report and failed to produce a mandatory response to resistance report that would have launched an immediate internal review. LCSO didn't investigate until Samick filed a complaint from behind bars. I reached out to all five Lee County commissioners to discuss Marcino's video. Three didn't respond. Two others wouldn't weigh in. No response from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement and no response from Governor Ron DeSantis. Thomas is not surprised by the silence. Jumpsuits are red. Justice is sweet. Commit a crime in Lee County and your ass will get beat. LCSO's criminal investigation into Samick's complaint remains open. Now, I reached out to the FBI. They say they are aware of this case, but they can't confirm or deny if their agents are investigating. 
In the meantime, Marcino still won't respond to my requests for an interview to talk about what's going on. On Facebook, he said that video does not reflect his views on use of force, but he won't answer one basic question. Then why did you shoot it in the first place? So there's this thing called being held to a higher standard. And supposedly law enforcement, uh, you're, you're held to a higher standard. Okay. Obviously, that's not true. We all can see that. Because I don't care what the cameraman said to you, not just a sheriff deputy, but you as the actual sheriff, you're the guy in charge of everybody, right? You have no professionalism sarcastic when you're talking about serving the community you can tell that this guy just abuses his position every chance he gets again not to mention that he's talking about beating the ass of anybody who comes into his county and, and commits some type of crime you know what even if a person does commit a crime that doesn't give you the right to beat their ass that's not how it works okay so this guy's definitely abusing his power he is not holding himself or his deputies to a higher standard this video should be shared on this page, on uh, Surreal Cam's page, on uh, Low Self Crumb's page. This video should be shared so everyone can see, so this guy can get voted out of office so that he never holds another, another elected position or hopefully any position for that matter ever again. Know your rights. Always report the police and watch out for tyrants like this. That being said, we the People University signing off. Welcome to The Goat Debate, the premier online sports debate show where engaging discussions and thrilling debates unfold as we determine who is the greatest of all time in every sport. I am your host, Abaya Israel, joined by my two co-hosts, Coach Scott and Coach J.O. Tune into our YouTube and Facebook channels to catch our reactions and coverage of the biggest games and the latest news. Don't miss out on your chance to participate in the action. Join us every Tuesday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for The Goat Debate, where you, the viewer, can call in and share your thoughts on who deserves the title of the GOAT. Be sure to mark your calendars. Every Monday, we upload 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, and we go live every Tuesday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be sure to subscribe, call in, and participate. Come and be a part of the conversation.